Welcome once again to one of those episodes where we explore the causal relationship between components and the circuit. Let's get to it. What happens to the brightness of the bulb if I increase the number of cells in the circuit? So now this time, what with the variable we're changing will be the number of cells in the circuit. So I'm going to draw the circuit now. So this time I want to start with one cell. Positive, negative, positive, negative. And I continue that way. As you can see, I have the positive, negative, positive. I'll have another negative, draw my positive. Then remember, you have the negative. So neg positive, negative, usually on the other ends. So you have positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. So I can see one cell, another cell, then the last one. One cell, one bulb, two cells, one bulb, three cells, one bulb. So we can say battery, battery, cell. From this investigation, you could see that the question says, what happens to the brightness of the bulb if I increase the number of cells in the circuits? This tells me that I will be changing the number of cells. And without doubt, that's my independent variable. What, do I, what would I be measuring will be the brightness of the bulb. So I have my cells in different forms, different sizes that I will show you. So the different types of cells, and they all come up with different voltages. So looking at this, we'll be talking about voltage first before we go into any of this um, investigation. So pay attention to this important terminology because it's gonna help you understand how electricity works. You see voltage like the force that pushes the electrons and circuits. At the same time, you could just simply say it is the pressure between a positive and a negative side of any point in the circuit. So the pressure between the positive and the negative points in the circuit. And as, as well as that pressure will determine the amount of electrons that will flow in the circuit. So when I say the amount of electrons flowing in a circuit, I'm talking about the current. Current is just the flow of electrons in circuits. Now, See voltage like a water tank. I'll use the water tank analogies to explain what voltage is. You have a water tank. In the water tank, there's a lot of pressure in it. So as soon as there's a channel for the bear, somebody punctures the water tank. Then the pressure pushes out the water and allows it to flow out. 
Same with your tap. Once it's closed, there's still pressure building on in the tap, but the water is not flowing. Once you turn on the tap and the tap, water flows out of the tap. Now, the flow is the current. The pressure that allows the water to flow is the voltage. And in this investigation, I'll be using my meter to show you what I mean, because this meter helps me to see my voltage in numbers. So firstly, I'm going to start with the big, the smallest. And um, you can see it's still zero. By the time I put the positive, you can see it's about 1.5. Um, it should be about 1.5, 1.589, let's say 1.59 volt in it. Similarly, it will be the same, even though there's no battery that has exact um, voltage reading, it should just be close. You can see this is about 1.58, even though they are both new. They don't have, but the point is about 1.5 rating. Now, this you'll find in most laptop batteries, uh, most laptops, most of the recent appliances. And you can see reading about 3.9. I even have some that read up to 4 volts. So you can see this is more powerful than these two combined. And this big for nothing, sorry I called it that way. And uh, you could see this is just 1.6, just a little more than this. So you see it's not about the size and the once there's enough a channel for it to flow out, the current starts flowing. So let's get to the investigation and leave the old story behind. Ouch, don't be so rude. We're not talking about the mains or natural sources of electricity now. You wait for your turn. Come on. Go on. As our investigation shows, we have, we will need uh, a bulb. We will also need a cell. We will need some um, clips. Perhaps wires to connect different points in the cell in the circuit, and we will also need a switch. So I have my switch, I have my cell, I have my bulb, I have my wire. However, we have some um, apply some devices um, that we use to keep all those things in place. So, for example, I will need a lamp holder just to put the lamp in place and I screw it in and I can also connect. I have my battery holder, which we will use in this case. So I like to go positive this way, negative that way. So now that my circuit is complete, it's time to test what I've got. I'm sure you can see that there's a little glow over there. So I have one cell and this is the brightness. You can see how bright it is. Now let's go to two cells and I have two cells in place time to turn on the battery let's observe the brightness remember that is what we're measuring what can you notice two cells so once I push the switch I connect I complete the circuit once I take off my hand, you can see there's a little gap if I don't push. But once you push, once you push, you connect and you can see the brightness. Let's measure the voltage of the two batteries. So just to show you that combining two batteries will increase the voltage you can see now that i have 3.13 for the two cells so as a result of increase in voltage 
you could see that the brightness of the bulb became was increased so that is the bulb became brighter now that we have three batteries one two and three batteries connected in series that is positive to negative then in that manner positive negative positive negative that manner that we increased the voltage and you could see now that i have 4.74 so you can see now having three batteries combined now that's three cells i have 4.74 volts so let's see the effect on the brightness of a bulb since we've increased the voltage by increasing the number of cells let's see the effect on the brightness of the bulb are you ready for that moment all right push the switch mr fantastic what do you notice it's so bright so i'm sure you can write your observations share your thoughts what do you observe from one cell two cells then this time three seconds.